All right, today we're going to be doing a setup on the Pro Mill 8000. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our software <clears throat> and we're going to home out our machine. One thing I want to point out is that my machine says online. That makes sure that I'm actually communicating with the actual machine, not simulation. So I'm going to click the home button. I'm going to click home because I'm actually going to be sending my machine home. Up at the top, it said that it was sending Z home first, then X, then Y. <clears throat> and so what that's going to do, if I'm already at home, it's just going to move it a small amount. If I am away from home, it's just going to home out the machine. Self-explanatory. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to come over here to verify on my verify menu. I'm going to click in the window, right click in the window where it says setup. And I'm going to go to my stock. Okay, now my stock, I'm going to change it to four inches by two and a quarter by inch and a half. Now I've already changed this. My material is four inches wide. It is uh, 2.25 in length, okay, or length four inches wide, 2.25, however you have it set up in the machine. I put an inch and a half on my Z to give it some depth. One thing I want to point out is on my spacer, my origin for X, Y, and Z, and my initial point in X, Y, and Z, those are all at zero. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. In my verify window, I'm also going to select solid verify so I can see everything. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start setting our tools. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to tool setup wizard or setup tool wizard. I'm going to start off. It says I need to reference height. I'm going to hit next and then I'm going to insert a tool. So I'm going to zero. I'm going to close out my doors just in case. Hit next insert reference tool all right it wants me to insert my reference tool i'm going to open up my doors and i'm going to go ahead and insert my reference tool the reference tool that i'm going to be using is going to be a 3 8 tool okay now my reference point is going to be off the top of my one my one two three block my one two three block is on my machine table that's where i want it to be at now on here it says to click F5. If I push F5, nothing happens, okay? Now a workaround for this is to simply hit stop, hit okay, hit next, and I can continue, okay? So what's happened is it moved my control jog window over because that's what I'm gonna be using. So I'm going to jog down in Z, and then I'm also gonna bring it forward a little bit. So I'm gonna move my Y table forward a little bit Okay, so now I'm going to put my one, two, three block right next to my tool. Now on here, this is for continuous jog. This is my wrap it up here for continuous jogging. I'm going to go to 5% and I'm going to start moving it up. So while I'm moving it up, I'm going to put continuous pressure on my tool. Okay, and I'm pretty close. I went under it. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. I'm going to come to my one thousandths increments put my tool up against my one, two, three block again, and I'm gonna click it, okay? Every time I click it, it only moves that one thousandths. Now my one, two, three block does go underneath my tool, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna hit remove reference tool. That's gonna send it back up to my tool change location because my reference point has been changed. I'll take it out. And of course, the same thing, if I hit F5, well, it's not working, so I'm going to hit the stop button, click OK. It allows me to click Next. Congratulations, I have set my reference height. So I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to hit Cancel because I want to go to my tool library. Okay, now I can set it up from there, but I'm going to go to my tool library and I'm going to go to my tool one. Okay, tool one says undefined. So I want my tool one to be an end mill. I want it to be tool number one, and the diameter is going to be my 3 8 end mill. Okay, now if you look right here on my height, it has a zero there. If I hit current Z right now, it's got the tool home position. So I need to bring my tool down to the top of my 1, 2, 3 block, and then I will hit current Z. So we'll change my teeth to two, and I'll click apply. Okay, so that popped it in there. Now I can't move my machine with this window open, so I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to jog my machine down 100% and jog it down and then I'll load my tool and I'm going to do the same thing that I just did. Okay, I'm going to pretty much set my tool length, not my reference height. 
So I'm pretty close to it. We'll start coming down a little bit more. As you can see, I don't want to be underneath it when I do it. Okay, I am touching it. We'll come back up a little bit. Okay, now once I'm there, I'll go back to my 1,000th increments, push against the tool again. I'll click until my one, two, three block goes underneath my tool. I'm good. I will go back up to tools, set up library with tool one selected, not tool zero. Tool zero is my reference tool. Tool one selected, I'll hit current Z. Notice I'm a thousandths difference. That is what I want, okay? Because that's really close to where I was at. Or because I know that's exactly where I was, I can hit zero, okay? So if I go back to my tool library, it does say zero. I click apply. And that's good. So now I want to set my second tool. Okay, so I'll pull that tool out. My second tool is going to be a quarter inch end mill. And as you can see, I need to come up with it. Okay, so that's going to put a positive value right here. So on tool two, I'll select tool two. It is set for a quarter inch. I'll put that at zero for right now because I don't know what it's going to be. Should be pretty close to that. So now I'm going to hit OK, and now I can move my machine. So what I'll do is make sure I'm in my continuous increment if I want to use my rapid. Push against the tool, and I'm going to start bringing it up. Okay, once I get pretty close, tool goes underneath it. I'll come down, I'll switch to my thousandths increments, and I'll just start clicking until my one, two, three block goes under my tool. Good. I'll go back up to my tools, set up library, make sure I have tool two selected, hit current Z. So that is two inches or 298 thousandths and four tenths. Okay. So that means that I had to come up 298 thousandths and four tenths to get to my one, two, three block. Okay. With that being said, I could take my one, two, three block out and I'm going to go ahead and set my work offset because both of my tools that I'm running in my program have been set, okay? So, I'm going to load my edge finder. Okay, now my zero, my XY zero, is going to be this corner right here, my left front corner. So, I need to get my machine over to the front left corner. So, we'll come up in Z, we'll go over in my X. Come up a little bit to center on my Y. We'll come back down. Mm -hmm. Now I've got a button right here for spindle, okay? Now one thing I want to point out is I don't want to run 5,000 RPM. So I'm going to take it down to 50% and then I will click my button to turn it on. Now if you can't see which direction the edge finder is breaking over, I can click spindle direction, which in this case, I am going to push it so that the edge finder will break towards us. Now, if I was at 100%, I would have been at 5,000 RPMs. It would have broke my edge finder. Would not have been good. So, I'm going to start going towards my material. Once I get close to that material, I'm just going to slowly get until so my edge finder has gotten straight. I'm going to slowly come into it until it breaks over. It has broke over. I'm going to go to Setup, Set Access to Zero. I'm setting the X side, and here's this blue line right here represents my material, okay? Now I'm using my edge finder, so half the radius of, or half the diameter of my edge finder is 100 thousandths. That's what I'm putting in there, okay? So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to do the same thing with my Y. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to come over, and then I'll come down. And then I'll come towards my material. Once my indicator or once my edge finder gets nice and straight, I will reduce my increments down to one thousandths. Now I will keep going towards my material until my edge finder breaks over. My edge finder just broke over. So what I'm going to do is go back up to setup, set axis to zero. I'm going to select the Y because it's the Y axis. And I'm going to select, see my materials on the front side of my part. That's how it looks if I'm looking from the top of the spindle. And I want to go with my other value of 100 thousandths. I will select OK. And now I have my X and my Y. Now for my Z, I'm going to use my reference tool height tool, which is tool number one. So I'm to stop my spindle, I'm simply going to, simply going to click the stop button. 
I will wrap it up above the material and put in my 3 8 tool. Make sure we get it in there. For this method, I'm going to be touching off the bottom of the tool on top of my part, so I'll be using a paper method. Okay, so I'm going to reduce that speed. I'm going to come down close to the material. And then I'm also going to center on top of the material. Once I have centered on top of the material, I will start to come down on the material. At that point, I'll grab a piece of paper and I will start going down on it. So I'm going to come close to my material. I will reduce my increments to one thousandths, not ten thousandths, one thousandths. And I will put my paper underneath the, the, the tool and start coming down. All right, I can no longer move my piece of paper, so that's where my Z is. So I'll come back up to setup. I will go to set axis to zero. I will click on the Z, and you can set this to zero, and that will set it to the face of the part. I want to come down 20 thousandths, so that way my facing operation will take off 20 thousandths because I have it programmed at zero. So I'm going to hit OK. And if I want to verify to make sure everything's correct, I'm going to go to Setup. I'm going to select the Go To position. I want to go to X0, Y0, Z, 200 thousandths, okay? And I'm going to click the Rapid. As soon as I click Rapid, it's going to go to those locations. So as you can see, I went up 200 thousandths, and then I came over to my X0, Y0. <clears throat> One thing you want to pay attention to is that the center of my tool is on line with the edge of the part in X and the edge of the part in Y. That's how we want it to be, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do, now that we know what we have our zero set right, is we're going to load our program. So I'm gonna click open. I have a test program right here. I'm gonna click open again. And to do a simulation before I start, I'm gonna go to setup and go to simulation. This is going to close out my online and put me into simulation. This is good. This is what I want. So now, if I want to go to verify the part, I do want to verify that program. Let's see if we can get it to run. Okay, so it did my facing operation. It's doing my profile. If I hit OK again, it's going to start doing my pocket. Okay, small levels just make everything look good. I like it. Okay, so we'll hit that looks good in our simulation. So let's go back to online. So let's go back to setup online. All right, so that's my program. Everything looks pretty good. I'm just gonna move this over here, maximize my window. All right, I'm gonna make sure 100%, 100%. Make sure my feed rates and all that look good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my doors. And I can either send the machine home right now or I can start it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick home to send everything home. It's going to go home in Z, it'll go home in X, and then we'll go home in Y. Okay, so now that everything's where we like it, we're going to go ahead and hit play. Okay, I'm going to hit play. We're going to run the program. It's going to tell me it wants me to insert the tool. Once I hit the insert the tool, I can hit F5. There we go, and now it's running. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. So what's happening is we got a facing operation going on. And as soon as this thing's done with the facing operation, it will go to the um, pocketing operation. And once it's done with the pocketing operation, it will come back home and it will say normal stop. So, that's how you do your setup in your tool library using the tool wizard. That is also how you set up your tools off the top of your part to your reference plane. And make sure that you keep note on this program that I have at the top here. It says if I'm using the tool wizard for setting up my library, that I have to remove the H's and the G43's from my program, okay? So this is going to run for a second. It'll do the pocketing. Other than that, it would just go home and you're going to swap out your tools. So nothing fancy there. If you want to stop and start in the middle of your program, say I want to stop right there. 
Say I want to start on my next tool. What I can do is I can go find that tool. So once I find that tool, I can come up to here and I can right click, go to line where the mouse is, the cursor was 244, right? So if I hit play, it wants to start on line 244, I can hit run program, okay? Hit F5 to continue. It wants me to swap out my tool, so I'm gonna hit wrong position. Okay, I like that, that's fine. So it's actually gonna go to the tool change position and it's gonna go home. And it's gonna tell me to swap out to my tool two. So at this point in time, I can load my tool two into the machine. And that's how you restart your program as well. If you're only wanting to run one tool, that's how you would reset it. So tool two is in there. I'll hit play, and then it'll come down and start cutting. All right, and once this thing is done cutting, it will have done my outside profile and my pocket. And after you're done, be sure and measure everything before you take it off the machine. And that's how you do a setup on the Pro Mill 8000.